The Japanese live stream for Wuthering Waves is over and a lot of people are excited. Now we do have a global live stream coming a few hours from when I'm recording this video, but I figured now is the perfect time to jump in, cover everything that has been revealed, take a look at the brand new trailer, the release date, the preload date. The game is three days, four hours, and 30 minutes away. Before you jump in to Wuthering Waves, prepare yourself by watching the guides that I've done Wuthering Waves don't make these huge mistakes, the Wuthering Waves tier list, and the Wuthering Waves beginner's guide. I plan to have additional guides up before the game launches, but all of this and more will cover everything you need to know before the game launches. This way you don't make any mistakes and potentially screw up your game. Now, before we jump right in, I wanna take a moment to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon and my YouTube channel members for supporting the channel and allowing for me to do this create videos and post them every single day you guys are phenomenal and i cannot thank you all enough for the support this recap was posted over on pride win i'll include a link down in the description below if you're interested in keeping track of the release date the preload date weathering waves release stream summary while the global official stream has yet to air both the chinese and japanese streams just finished here's a summary of what happened there there was a brand new trailer. We'll take a look at the trailer in just a minute. The preload start has been revealed. It is in one day, 12 hours, 28 minutes. The 21st of May at six o'clock GMT plus eight. The release date is the 23rd of May, 10 a.m. GMT plus eight. That is three days, four hours, 28 minutes from now. It looks as though the limited banners for patch 1.0 are going to be Gion and Yinlin. This was expected. I want Gion, but I want Yinlin more. Gion's banner is going to last from the 23rd, so launch day, through the 13th of June. Yinlin's banner is going to last from the 13th of June through the 4th of July. That means everyone that wants to acquire Yinlin can just hold over for those couple weeks, save up all their premium currency. If you're curious on how to maximize the amount of premium currency you can obtain, I actually, in my guide, don't make these huge mistakes. I go over all the different ways that you can acquire and maximize the amount of premium currency you can earn. Once again, I urge you to check out that video. There is going to be a selector banner on top of the 50 pull discounted banner where you obtain a random five star standard character. Another newbie banner has been announced. You can select any five star standard character and you'll obtain it within 80 pulls. It wasn't fully confirmed, but this banner should use a standard ticket, same as the standard banner. This means that you can get two five star characters within 120 pulls, one random and one of your choice. Not sure how long it'll take to gather enough pulls to do it, but the games usually throw a lot of standard tickets at you on release. I mean, I have a guide to maximize your, your premium currency acquisition. Once again, go take a look, but two guaranteed SSR characters within your first 120 pulls. That is crazy, especially given the fact that you're going to get to choose one yourself. Once again, Punishing Grey Raven, Kudo Games, Wuthering Waves, they continue to prove how generous they are with all of their games. Additional rewards, you get Sanhua for logging in for five days. You get 10 Lustrous Tide, 10 Radiant Tide. You get a five-star weapon of your choice. You get Yuan Wu, 20% off the Novice Summons, the guaranteed max rarity unit, and a free leveling bundle. That's cool. On top of the 20 standard banner tickets that we'll receive from the pre-register rewards, another 20 tickets will arrive in our in-game email somewhere after. So we get a guaranteed 40 pulls at launch. A guaranteed 40. Not only do we get a guaranteed 40, but we get the discounted novice banner and then the guaranteed max rarity unit as well. Wow. Damn. Now there were two trailers released. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at both of them. First is the Japanese... 120,000 views already. Okay, wow. The Japanese trailer uploaded to the, I guess, Japanese YouTube channel. Encore is looking cute. I hope I can upload this, upload this without being copyright struck. If not, then you're just not going to hear the audio. Damn, look at the, the jiggle on Yinlin though. Slash 
Uh, what was that? Oh, new character. Oh shit, this is good! Holy crap! Dude, the two rovers together? Gion kind of reminds me of Xiao Yun from Dynasty Warriors. Yes! Yeah! Oh my god! Wait! Is that a female... Is that the female... Like a female crownless or something? What? Oh my god, dude. That was absolute fire! The, now, oh my god. Now we gotta check out the Chinese trailer. I don't think it'll be as good as the Japanese one, but... It's definitely not as good quality, but that's due to the compression on Reddit. Dude, Encore is so adorable. I've never been a fan of Vagina, or Varina. I mean, I like Vagina. I mean, oh god. I like how vibrant the game now looks, but at the same time, how dark it can look, too. I do see a little bit of text up the top right of the screen that says Naru Shio. I think that might be the Naru Shio from YouTube. And if that's the case, I will go ahead and link to his channel down in the description of the pink comment below. Or at least... I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is nothing compared to the Japanese trailer, though. Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> See, I want Yinlin, but at the same time, like, Chion's fighting style is just so cool. Holy crap, she is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to beat off to her, beat off her, beat her up. Okay. That looks really freaking cool. Wait. Is that fucking Paimon? No. Please, God, no. Let it die. Let it die. Let it... I don't... Yeah, I'm not at all interested in that. Let it die. And that's everything we have to look forward to with regards to Wuthering Waves right now. There is a lot revealed. There is a lot confirmed. Again, there's going to be a global... Live stream held a few hours from now if you want to wait. I don't think anything worthwhile is really going to be revealed. Nevertheless, I am super excited for this. I cannot wait. Now, if none of this is of any interest to you, though, then I have to question your sanity. But at the same time, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley.